Hi, and welcome back to Aussie Scar Modeler. Midweek episode number 2.573 thousand pieces from the last one. Guys, thank you all so very much for all your support. It's absolutely unbelievable. Um, huge shout out to uh, Andrew there from uh, Bull Ball Models for providing me with the piece I destroyed very quick in the post ASAP. Have a look at that. I've primed it. Well, I washed it, sanded it, primed it, and she's in the uh, jet black from Outlaw Paints. So this is uh, going to be awesome. We'll just put these few bits in here. We're going, what are we doing, 17 up until, or say, 24. And uh, we'll get that bit done tonight. And don't forget, guys, the awesome, awesome competition. Get in the running for this, guys. It's the thin CA, medium, thick CA there. There's some of the icky sticky glues that come in the pack that you'll win if you're one of the first 30 people to uh, buy something from Full Ball Models. Not only will you win that this awesome pack, so have a check at the picture there, pause it if you have to, have a look where you win there. You also get to choose from Braden, from Outlaw Paints, every paint that's required to uh, paint this kit. And no, not this kit, this mighty kit, the 1970 HTBEU. This is an amazing kit, folks. Great one to have in your collection. And you get to choose all those colours to build it and also your final colour. That's a package nearly worth 500 bucks given away to the first 30 people that buy something from fullballmodels.com. And don't forget, hit up ickystickyglue.com.au. You've got a great range of selection of um, things you're going to need in the future or you might even need them now, including like this little tweezer pack. I, th I believe this does come in the giveaway again. And um, yeah, and don't forget Outlaw Paints for all your paint model paint needs. Uh, and Braden's got some great new releases coming up soon. So check him out, outlawpaints.com.au. Monique there at ickysticky.com.au. And of course, the big bad HTBE Ute, fullballmodels.com. Right, now, guys, what we'll do is. Um, Oh, I'll show you how to store your icky sticky glue a bit later on. Uh, yeah, I'll have a sip of coffee and uh, we'll get a cracker, eh? Cheers. Let's move. And here we go. First up, I've got them all in order here. So we're going to go in... Whoop, we'll just move that little bugger down there. A bit of power steering. Now, remember, all this stuff's all been done. Get the old specs on by uh, Outlaw Paints there. Braden, awesome stuff. We're using the um, medium CA glue here with the awesome flexi tip extenders you get from Mickey Sticky. So here we go. Bring that up to the camera there. Get the specs right so I can see. A little dollop just down there. Working, working, working. Because I have been told to use just a little less. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Man, one there. We're just on the tip there, and what do you now you can use the tweezers, but I can pretty much see this at the moment, sort of. There we go, there's the hole. Sit that on there like so. Beautiful. Seated nicely. Yep, there we go. Right, have one power steering there. Beautiful. Right, drop him back down there. Use some CA activator. I love this stuff. Just boom. And she's ready to rock and roll. Okay. Next, we've got the uh, brake booster. So what I'm going to try here, I'm going to try something different. Now, it's got all these locating holes here, folks, as you can see just there. There it is there. Just a little dab. Tell you what, can't wait to get new glasses, folks. I don't know if they make a uh, lens that's about 5,000, but uh, yeah. There we 
we go. Set him in place. Straight him up just that little bit there, so he's sitting properly. Bit of the activator and there we go, where are we? There we go. Boom. Happy days. Right, next, moving from uh, left to right, we've got window motor. Window washer motor, whatever. Yep, there we go. Now, guys, if you've already painted, I try to. Um, I like to paint, and I'll just uh, sand out there. Get rid of any paint, so it's got a nice clear contact point. Nothing to prohibit it. Right, yeah. Except my eyesight. That's a, that's about the only thing that's prohibiting all this properly. There we go. You know, I just dropped it brilliantly done. <laughs> As you do. Nice snug fits. There she goes, sitting pretty right there. Right, eh, folks? Moving along again, we'll chuck on the uh, fan here. Moving up again, couple of dabs in there. Boom, boom, Maybe a little more. Get the heater box, there we go. Snug as a bug in a rug. Bit of activator, boom. Try going the other way, yep, brantly done. Alright. Move those out of the way. What do we have next? Uh, just over here. And we'll use the mighty little Iggy Sticky uh, tweezers. The tiniest of dots. Beautiful. Next we'll go the battery. Sit that little bugger in there. Right, we'll move that up there. We'll just go here on the little sort of resting points. And we'll try and put it on the right spot. <laughs> Hold it there for a couple of seconds. Bit of spray with the LCA. Activate up. Boom. There we go. Water bottles up here on the far left hand corner. Let's have a look at that. Just up in there, you've got your little receiver there. It's all hard when it's all painted black and ready to rock and roll, but yeah. Here we go, trust me, watch where the glue goes. Oh, wow. All right, and you've even got your little locator here, so here we go. Do this as quick as I can without CAing the world. Here we go. It sits perfectly in there. And that'll leave us with this 
final little part to do one radiator don't forget folks make sure that you put that lip to the port the front well it won't go any other way and you're looking for about a one to two mil clearance just above the front end just about there is where you're looking for just there so you're just sitting radiator cap just above that little line there so what we'll do is we'll make sure I put it back in the shot bit of a bit of a glue there 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 on that ridge you don't need much icky sticky folks you really do not this stuff is brilliant. It works nearly 99.999% of the time, and if it doesn't, it's probably operator error. So, here we go. We'll get that in there. Audio. There we go. And I'll just whip a little bit more. Might just try just a tiny tad just in the front there. Sorry guys, I'm really trying to do this. As I said, still learning on this whole build video thing, so there we go. Alright, she's all sealed up there. Bit of activator on all that again. Want it nice and solid in there. And there you go, that's the engine, part of the engine bay done. Might just whip out the um, 186 and we'll have a peek at that. Give us five secs and uh, yeah, here we go. Well, folks, there you got it. 186, voila. Ready to rock and roll in its U-Butte home. And we'll just locate all that and uh, yeah, wow. Doesn't that look the goods? Keep it straight a bit there. Yeah, you know, this is you know, absolutely beautiful. There we go. And put the main camera there, or one of the other cameras. So yeah, guys, there we go. Rightio. Well, take that baby out of there. Put it nice and safe back in its home. Well, yeah, there you have it, and guys. The one eight six sitting in that beautiful. Uh, engine bay uh before everything goes in there's a couple of stickers to go on well, one sticker to go on the oil filter and um i'm not going with the uh stock one um on the battery stock sticker decal so yeah just as we have it and yeah look forward to next week's uh, part three on the build video of the uh full bore hg ute uh can't wait don't forget be one of the first 30. There's only 20 more positions left, guys. I was speaking to Andrew, so, um, while filming this, and, uh, yeah. There's only 20 more people eligible to go in the draw to win the, uh, U-Butte HT Ute 1970 and the Icky Sticky Full Glue Pack and the Outlaw Paints Full Paint Pack to paint and finish and glue this model complete. So, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me tonight. Till then, I'll see you on Sunday's episode, and as I always say, it's all good, and catch you later.